friends welcome so today's video is how big is tata and it says i guess it's going to talk about tata's business empire and basically they're talking about ratan tata so let's go ahead and watch this video bombay house this is a simple looking head office of the tata group in mumbai india but tata group is anything but simple started as a small trading company by jamshed ji tata in 1868 tata group now has more employees than toyota mm. google facebook microsoft and google combined Ooh. it now operates in over 100 countries so let's tighten our seat belts and take a world tour to witness the remarkable business empire of tata group Our first stop is North America. Here Tata Group owns the luxury hotel Taj Campton Palace in San Francisco, Taj Boston, and one of the world's finest and New York's iconic hotel, the Pier. Oh, Tata's Tea Company is the second largest tea company in US and largest in Canada. They also own popular brands like Good Earth and America's third largest coffee company, 8 O'clock Coffee. Tata's IT service company TCS operates 24 offices in North America and while their animation and design lab Tata Elixi also operates in 8 plus locations in the region in manufacturing sector the group operates a soda ash mining company in Wyoming iron ore mining company in Quebec Canada steel manufacturing facilities in Ohio and Pennsylvania and also a coffee production plant in all Tata Group employs over 20,000 people in North America, about three times more than how many people Microsoft employs in India. Now let's travel to South America. TCS employs more than 8,000 people in eight countries in South America. The group is also an investor in the first submarine fiber cable network between US and Brazil. Tata has also owned the world's largest subsea fiber cable network today. 25% of world's internet routes travel over Tata's subsea networks. From South America, let's travel to Africa and land in the port city of South Africa, Cape Town. Here, Tata Group owns the historic luxury hotel Taj Cape Town. In nearby Zambia, they own Taj Amodzi, one of the most luxurious hotels of the country. Tata's also operate two wind farms in South Africa. and a hydroelectric power project in Zambia the group also owns Jokels South Africa's third largest tea company Tata Trucks and Buses are one of the top sellers in Zambia South Africa and Kenya in manufacturing sector Tata owns a chemical plant in Magadi Kenya which is Africa's largest soda ash manufacturer commercial vehicle assembly plant and a steel plant in South Africa and finally a manufacturing and a power plant in Mozambique from Mozambique we will move to London Buckingham Palace Queen's official residence close to the palace Tata's own the luxurious Taj 51 Buckingham Gate Suites the nice. hotel also has the world's first Jaguar suite for all the Jaguar lovers nearby the St James Court Hotel is also owned by the group Tata's Tea Company is the largest tea company in the UK. Their other European tea brands include Whitex, a popular brand in Poland, Jemka, the market leader in Czech Republic, and Grand, a coffee brand in Russia. Tata Steel is one of Europe's largest steel maker, and TCS has been awarded as the best employer in Europe. Jaguar Land Rover is also owned by Tata's. and is the largest manufacturer of premium vehicles in Britain. The group also operates design centers in London and Paris and one of the world's largest e-learning company in UK, Germany and Switzerland. Tata employs around 60,000 people in Europe mm-hmm. and is also UK's biggest industrial employer. To end it all, Tata's also own a relatively small company called British Salt in the UK. An Indian company owns British Salt. 
quite ironic. Mm, that's what I was thinking. Before the rebels can be salt march carried out against the British Raj only 88 years ago. Now let's travel all the way to Sydney, Australia. Here in Sydney, TCS began its first operations in Australia, and now the company operates across Australia and New Zealand with over 10,000 employees and clients like Qantas, Telstra, and Commonwealth Bank. Tata's also own popular Australian coffee machine brand Map, and operate data centers across Australia through their partnership with Next DC. The group also holds stake in Carbo Rough Downs coal project in Queensland, Australia. Finally, we have reached Asia. Let's start in the desert sands of the Middle East. Tata's Range Rover is one of the most sought-after four-wheel drives in the region. Tata Motors is also a leader in the medium and heavy commercial vehicle segment in GCC countries. While TCS has multiple offices in the Middle East, including an all-women IT services center in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, the group also owns Titan. Titan Watches are leading brand in Oman and Bahrain. They also own the logistics company in UAE and the luxurious city hotel Taj Dubai near popular landmarks like Palm Jumeirah. Finally, Voltas, Tata's leading air conditioning brand, has completed major mechanical and air conditioning projects that include Burj Khalifa, Dubai, international airports in UAE and Bahrain, Ferrari Experience, and F1 race track in Abu Dhabi, wow. Southeast Asia. From deserts of UAE, we will move to South Korea. Here, Tata owns South Korea's second largest heavy commercial vehicle manufacturer. Tata Devo. In Singapore, Tata's steel plant is the largest single cut and bend steel operations worldwide. While the group is also the largest producer of long steel products in Thailand, Tata's also own stake in oil and gas blocks and coal reserves in Indonesia, and are developing power generation projects in Myanmar and Vietnam. And even operate a life sciences research company and own plantations in Singapore and Indonesia. Even Tata's Voltas has executed engineering projects like New Hong Kong International Airport and Cyberport Business Park in Hong Kong, China. Here, TCS has six global delivery centers: Tata's own two rolling mills, a refractories factory. An auto parts factory, wow. green tea manufacturing plant, and also have a Jaguar Land Rover assembly plant. We have reached South Asia, the beautiful and scenic Maldives. Here we will find the lush Taj coral reef with white sands and scenic view. Moving ahead to Sri Lanka, Taj owns the picturesque Taj Pagoda and two more hotels in Colombo. Tata's also provide telecommunication services in Nepal and Sri Lanka, and have even deployed a hydro project in Bhutan. After our long world tour, we have finally reached mm -hmm. India. Here, TCS is the largest Indian company. TCS becomes the first Indian company to hit a hundred billion dollars in market cap. Tata Motors is a leader in commercial vehicle segment. Titan Company is India's largest manufacturer of branded watches. Tata has also run largest jewelry store chain Tanishq. While their Tata Power is India's largest integrated power company, Tata has also owned steel plants, tea plantations, automobile manufacturing units, chemical factories, and even owned mobile networks and DTH company Tata Sky. Not only that, they operate airline Vistara and mm. also manufacture defense helicopters and equipments. Even Starbucks in India is jointly owned by the Tatas. Ooh. Tata has not only created a massive business empire but also multiple social institutions like cancer treatment centers, mathematics and science research institutes, and also the first. Planned industrial city of India, Jamshedpur. Sixty-six percent of the group shares are held by a charity trust. Across the world, the company has been involved in multiple social programs, 
Tata is truly an incredible company and has traveled a long way from Mumbai to be now present all across the world. All I can say is this is Tata's business empire. So wow friends this was so so informative and I'll be very frank I did not know that Tata was so huge almost all over the world as they showed it's got its business in uh, North America then South America then Africa I mean wherever you can think of Tata is there and um, it makes us proud it really makes us proud and it makes us want more companies like these from India to come around like this and you know spread all over the world and show their achievement and the best thing was that when they showed about one of their salt companies that they were talking i immediately i was i was also relating back to the time that these britishers they came and they were putting taxes on salt and gandhi ji also had a walk regarding this and now the situation has totally changed and what an irony but um, really 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 great achievements by ratan tata and he's a great person too and this reminds me that just a few months back my parents they went on a vacation i think it was in one of the hill stations and they were and as i've told you my father is in armed forces so he was live uh, he was they were staying in a, a area which was an, an an air force area i'm guessing so and he when i talked to him while he was in that area he showed me around too with the camera and he was telling me that can you believe this this was actually owned by tata but he has kind of donated it to the armed forces so now this whole setup the whole building this whole area and he showed me he was telling me it was it is a large piece of land it has been uh, donated to armed forces and now it is going to be it belongs to them so i was like but what about you know if their kids probably will ask it back later he said no he's made such an arrangement nobody can uh, state its their claim on this piece it has been uh, given for for the soldiers for the armed forces and he got to know this by talking to those officers around who are who were living there we of course know about some things uh, but i did not know to this extent that how much growth has been done going into all parts of the world and uh, doing such a great work and uh, of course i mean some of the things that we know here in the us is tcs and uh, tetle t yeah we see a lot of tetle t yeah. uh, in any of the stores that we go yeah. we find that t but i didn't know that tetle was owned by tata before but after watching one of the movie, uh, videos mm. that one of you recommended then we came to know that tetla tetle is actually yeah. owned by tata right and tcs is expanding that is very good and tcs is all over the world which is also very nice and um, the good part i think the really uh, americans got to know about tata because of jaguar so because land over jaguar um they were dying in britain and they were almost uh, bankrupt and then uh, tata came and saved them bought the company and then production increased and they started to produce more and more started to do the um, improvements uh, you know put in the capital and did great so that is a great thing where people now you know when anybody buys uh, jaguar or land rover they kind of know that okay uh, looking at the brochures they receive or the looking on the internet they do figure out okay it's being owned by tata so that is very good thing and uh, one thing that i would say is that they were very nice to show humble beginnings that in 1868 you know how it was started and uh, now it is all over the world so look at the amount of expansion it is very difficult to do all these things in real life right in such a small time and uh, they have expanded so many places that means the company must be operating at a very efficient in a very efficient way if they very efficient they are making profits and they are using the profits back into the business and expanding so it is very i mean we feel very proud uh, about that there is a great company tata which is present everywhere because many people who are coming from different countries are proud of their companies 
like you know south koreans are really proud of our samsung so something like that we are proud of tata and especially tata has done a great job in india that is fine but when the company becomes so big that it goes outside of yeah. india and tries to excel in business in different countries then the value comes and looking at the video all indians will feel very proud that wow look at so many things that are happening and therefore uh, you know as i said before the this is how we want more companies to come yeah. you want more companies that are international because in india there is a concept of multinational company right people want to join an mnc saying that you know they will have uh, perfect standards and they will have very good you know hr and so forth similarly if tata and other company expand everywhere then they are also today tata is a multinational company and similarly over here people should be very excited to go into a multinational company uh, which is uh, essentially a indian company so very good video and uh, very and nice not only that. that but the good thing is besides this tata is tata is also doing humanitarian works yeah. they have charities going on and they are made, making developments all around in india to make the living standard of indians better which is amazing charity is obviously any company that is very large at some point they always say you know we are going to spend so much to bring up the community because at the end of the day if a company is in india they would benefit from better workforce in india first because the master mind is at the headquarters which is in india so uh, i don't know which video we saw where they were saying the same thing that the country grows they want to improve the infrastructure of the country they want to improve the lives of the people because these are the people are the workforce of tomorrow of that company yep. so very nicely and the video was uh, pretty good with and they had a lot of stuff it was very nice because they went from one country to the other covering all the projects so very uh, nicely done yes friends so very informative video and lots and lots of information in there and makes us feel and every indian no matter where they are which part of the world makes them feel very proud to see such achievements and hopefully we'll have many many more companies like this representing india and uh, spreading all around the world doing awesome job so okay friends we'll take your leave and we'll come back again with another video very soon till then take care and Bye bye. Oh, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so it notifies you when I put in my new video for you to enjoy. Bye.